Hey yo, what's poppin' First Order family? Welcome back to this episode series, episode three. We're gonna continue where we left off. And for a quick refresher, we had to get a blessing stone for Vivek to give him a little bit of energy. Um, now he got a little bit of his power, but as you can see in the background, he is having a out of body experience, literally. My man is having an out of body experience. Kind of fucked up. Like he's dead on the bed, damn near. But his spirit, his soul, whatever you want to have, it's um, it's flowing above him. But um, me, I'm assuming Wolf Soul Weaver. <laughs> we about to we about to join in on a um, you know, probably the same mission or whatnot. But that's funny. Why the fuck is he in here, man? <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, let's jump into this, man. Lanta, my time grows short. Clarity emerges, like sunlight breaking through the clouds. Barbus must have replaced the arch cannon weeks ago. All to set the wheels in motion to steal my divine energy. Damn, that nigga is foul. But bro, he went through a lot of trouble just to steal your divine energy. That shit so powerful like that? Hmm. Let me get some of that shit. Every move has a purpose. Stealing my energy so discord and disaster throughout the land. And ultimately revealed the location of the Clockwork City. Damn. If Barbus and his master can bypass the wards and enter Sotha Seal's domain. Shit gonna be crazy. I think I'm gonna have to take a trip to the Clockwork City after I help you out. Clavicus Vile distracted me, weakened me, all to locate the Clockwork City. Perhaps we require a Daedra to fight a Daedra. Azura's champion, Saren, in Arch Cannon's office. Seek guidance from her patron. But hurry, my time grows short. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. But um, I'll go ahead, I'll find Saren and see if Azura can help us. You stay up, homeboy. Alright, so we are going to jump into this divine restoration yeah man he he fucked up right now but that's crazy he is um you gonna have to go to clockwork city next oh shit it's, it's, it's hectic outside trill bixby is wilding right now <laughs> <laughs> Hold that. The moonlit. It's raining fire from the sky. Lord Vivek, save us. Uh, damn, he can't. He can't save himself. But I got you. I got you. The fuck? Crazy out here. Saren. Outlander. Oh, okay, there Over you go. here. I've been trying to find something that makes sense of all. <laughs> what? Mortal. The Lady, the lady oh. of Twilight has words, words for, for you. you. Talk to me. So Vivette deigns to ask for help. I foresaw such an event, but scarcely believed it. Listen well, for if you continue to perform flawlessly, we might yet thwart the efforts of Clavicus Vile and his hound, Barbas. Yeah, I'll fuck him up. I'm going to perform flawlessly. But, um, yo, Lord Vex said to ask you for guidance in this matter. He don't know what to do. 
he can't even wipe his ass right now, so you want to help us or, or not? Nah? Like, what is it? Just as I anticipated, the mysteries reveal that Barbas seeks to enter the Clockwork City. So far, so the sealed wards have impeded him, but the Hound has Sunra. You must beat him to the prize, the reservoir that holds Vivek's stolen energy. Alright, um, I'll do so, but do you know where the Clockwork City is located? Because I have no idea. Such knowledge has been hidden even from me, mortal. Damn. But I know someone who can provide you with the means to travel to Sotha Seal's creation. Stand back, and I shall summon the Mage of Cogs and Gears. I move. Interesting. That shouldn't have happened. <laughs> oblivion, am I? Mage, Mage this, this mortal, mortal speaks, speaks with the authority of the, of the mother's soul. Yeah, listen to what I'm telling you, bruh. Interesting. Summoned by a daydrip prince and her mortal mouthpiece. I was right in the middle of a crucial experiment. But I suppose I can spare a few clicks of the cogs for Azura and my erstwhile assistant. So, did you break the tonal inverter? Don't disrespect me, bro. But now, nah, the tonal inverter were fine. Azor wants you to help me get to the Clockwork City. No, not going to happen. No offense to the Lady of Twilight, but Sophie the Seal was quite adamant about keeping the place hidden and warded against the Daedra. Wait. Pistons fall into place. This concerns Sunara and Lord Viveka, I presume. The fuck do you think? I'm just trying to find that shit, like, just, just because? Come on, bro. You know Barbara's tricked us into draining Lord Vivek's divine energy. Barbara's? Another Daedra? Thinking, thinking. So, so the seal's forgotten tools modified to steal Vivek's energy, which in turn energized the Clockwork City. Lit it up like the top of Red Mountain. Even Vile's dog would be able to see that. All right, so... Can you get me to Clockwork City or no? Nah? What is Barbus after? The fuck? Eight gears click into place. The reservoir! You need to reach the reservoir that contains Vivek's stolen energy before Barbus. I can get us to the entrance in Set's vault beneath the Mournhold Temple. Ready to go? Alright, let's get it there. You'll need my help. I know the city almost as well as so the sea. Follow me. Right, we reach. The hound used Sonora to get inside. We have to hurry. Let's do it. Daedra! That on your head, top bro. Let's get it. Viper? Head top, pussy. 
That's what I'm talking about right there. Nineteen K punch. Let's get it. Look at craftsmanship, the attention to detail. Self deceived is a true master. Amazing, isn't it? Such intricate work on something so small. Well, are you ready to go inside? Hello. That's the Clockwork City? That shit tiny as a motherfucker. Precisely. No, oh, I see your concern. Forgot you haven't been here before. Use the entrance and you'll shrink down and get drawn inside. I understand that some of Sothisil's first entry methods had unintended effects. But now it's perfectly safe. Alright, but why is the Clockwork City inside of a glow? Where else would you put it? Besides, once we get inside, it's much bigger than it looks. My former master said that working in miniature enhanced his precision and it made it much more convenient to hide away and store. Now, in you go. Let's get it. Vivex energy. It, it flows through Sonora. How Barbas is able to circumvent the city's defenses. Why is he waiting over there? I'll never understand what motivates these Daedra. Yeah, me neither. But did we just did we just shrink into um, a miniature city? Yes. Thanks to Sotha Seal's magic, my former master is exceedingly brilliant. I thought you already knew that. Anyway, there's no way we'd fit in here at our normal size. So the magic altered us as we passed through the doorway. That's pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. But if Barbers can use for Vex energy, do we really stand a chance against him? Always a chance. Just depends upon the way the gears align. But I don't think he can spare too much to use against us. He needs it to reach the reservoir and do whatever Clavicus Vile sent him to do. Now, okay. I really think we need to get moving. Alright, let's do this. Let's go let's go kick some some Daedra ash. <laughs> oh, my favorite doof has finally arrived! <laughs> Get your ass over here, stop running and hiding, puss. You may not believe this, but I really am happy to see you. I grew rather fond of you while I inhabited that dreadful dark elf form. Now you get to see me in all my glory. And soon, you'll be able to witness my greatest achievement. The fact that you even believe you're going to do this quote-unquote greatest achievement while I'm standing here? Comical. But let me entertain you a little bit. What, what, what great achievement is that? I'm going to bring my master's grandest plan ever to fruition. You'll be so proud of me. Just stay out of my way and enjoy the show. I promise it will be highly entertaining. Alright, we'll see. But, um, you don't feel some type of way talking about your master's grandest plan? Like, your master? What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? You're obviously a grown-ass Daedra. <laughs> so, uh, I'll, be, I'll get y'all. But what's your master's grandest plan? lame oh yes indeed the grandest my master and his partner seek to oh no 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 bad barbus i almost gave away the surprise 
<laughs> You're a tricky one, you are. But my master will be so pleased that I stepped in and made his plan even better. Yeah, we'll see. Why go through all this trouble to get into Clockwork City? My master has been trying to find this place for the longest time. He actually set the ball rolling. I saw an opportunity to improve his plan and make it better, so I took the initiative. This will get me back in my master's good graces, you'll see. You're such a lame, bro. I'm gonna I'm get around these lightning bars and I'm gonna um, I'm kick your ass, just so you know. Are. I should take out the defenses, at least the most dangerous ones. Alright, sounds good, because I really need to, uh, I need to meet up with this damn Tarvis. I disabled um, most of the defenses in this Barbus, section. whatever his name is. seal installed numerous safeguards. I advise caution just in case. Barbus is ahead of us, but I know many paths through the city. Just like the fox that chased the hound. Don't make jokes. I need to kick his ass. You sure we can catch up to Barbara's? With my help, the probability calculates in your favor. You must Sounds good. Moving. Okay. The hound won't dawdle. Unless he comes upon an interesting smell. Or a tree. Since we know Barbara's ultimate destination, I can open routes he can't access. Sounds good. Um, how you know where he's going? Like... Only one logical place. To the atelier where Sotha Seal conducted his study of divine energy. Okay. Sunora would have sent the stolen power there. It's not far. What Barbas and his master want with Vivek's energy, though, remains unclear. That's fair. That's fair. We're not even going to stress it. We just know we need to get that back. But I think I heard you say something about you disabled the defenses. Most of them. It might be a random contraption or a wandering factotum still out there. And if Barber smuggles in more Daedra, the other defenses will become active. Clear the okay. path while I open the route. Then I'll catch up and join you. Sounds good. Time to kick some ass. Combination so fucking lethal. Stun him and drop that lightning right on his head. Though. That's crazy. That's that's crazy. Cut it out. Yeah, I thought you stood a chance, but nah, no chance. Faster. The hound is right. Disable the back totems and the gate couplings. I tried. Get on that ground, nigga, don't make no sound. Not 
playing with you. Open up. Good night. Good night. Are. Come on, man. Look, Master. The next toy found a way through, just like you said. But Barbus has shown her off. What does the next toy have? The next toy has. I got the lightning hands. Let's stop playing. Hey, I get him. Interesting. Sounds like the Master isn't completely happy with his dog. This engineering junction contains some of Sotha Seal's most powerful fabricants. They'll take care of the scarfing, but they might also try and deal with us. Ain't no worries. Ain't no worries. Um, was Bar was Barbus actually talking to Clavis because vile? Or no? It certainly sounded that way. The hound said something about using Vivex energy to open a portal. Why would he Oh no! That much power could punch a hole through all of Sotha Seal's defenses. 
allowing Clavicus Vile to enter the city. Uh, that'd be bad, or, or what? Like, talk to me. That would be catastrophic. Imagine a Daedric prince with access to some of the seal's greatest invention. Who knows what damage he could do with the power of the clockwork city at his command? We have to keep going. We have to stop Barbus. No problem. Oh yeah, it's up. Got him. I thought. Bro. When you're finished with those fabricants, follow me. Traveling the portals and shit now. Come on. Beautiful, isn't it? One of Sotha Seal's favorite atelier. I think Barbus is already inside. Yeah, pretty impressive. That's pretty impressive. That's the atelier behind me. Not only is this the workshop where Sotha Seal experimented with divine energy, it also has as one of the reservoirs that can be used to power the entire city. A reservoir currently filled with Vivex energy. Nice. Nice. Oh, um, but Barbus is in there. Almost certainly. Okay. Sunara led him right to it. It won't take the hound long to figure out how to access Vivex stolen energy. Then he'll try to open a portal for his master. Clavicus vile. Can Barbus actually use Vivex energy to open a portal? Maybe. Probably. It's a distinct possibility. Certainly the Hound and his master think so. Whether it will actually work or not, you have to go in there and stop him. I got you. The danger's too great to ignore. I got you. Let's go. Let's go do this. No, no. That's inadvisable. Oh. The Atelier has defenses. You have no idea what it will do if it marks one of Sotha Seal's apprentices as an enemy. Neither do I. You go. I'll use the controls over there and help you from out here. Alright, cool. I mean, that's all you have to say. I'll take care of it. Get out of here, bruh. Thank you, come again.
little bastard tail on him. You gotta go first. Those damn lightning hands is fucking my whole shit up. Now, open the North Fort and destroy its defenses. You gonna hold those? Definitely gonna hold those. That motherfucker killed me, man. Touch is active. Open it and enter the energy reservoir. I gotta change up my whole style with this guy, man. Gotta remember, I still got on level one armor. Main fluctuations ahead. Barbus is manipulating the energy reservoir. Hurry! Don't worry, don't worry. I'm gonna kick his ass.
bro. Get on that ground. It don't make no sense. I can feel it. Clavicus file is almost here. Seize Sonora. Then retrieve Lord Vivek's energy from the reservoir conduit. Give me that power. a good and faithful hound you have done enough for now dude is literally a dog come on bro i try to drop some lightning on his head up we'll see if we can uh give him give a uh, Perfect his powers, man. So, you're the mortal who gave my poor dog so much trouble. I suppose we should have a chat, you and I. How dare you discipline my dog? He was only trying to appease his master, and I'd never harm a hair on whatever insignificant creature you hold dear. You, on the other hand, require a lesson in manners. Are you going to give it? Because if not, stop wasting my time. Your sorry ass dog tried to kill Lord Vivek and destroy Vardenfell. Indeed. What ambition. As you can see, Barbus isn't a bad dog. He does get easily excited and overzealous. He embellished my plans somewhat, but it all worked out in the end. And. We found the Clockwork City! So? Like, were you trying to take control of the Clockwork City, or were you just being annoying? This little flea thinks it's smart, but my plans are beyond its comprehension. Fuck. Still, by delaying the inevitable, you caused my associates and I some trouble. You'll stay here until you're no longer a threat. How does a few decades sound to you? No thanks, I'll find my way out. Let's go. Quiet dog! Haven't you wait. Who dares intrude upon my lesson? Found you. Over here at Oh. Clavicus file. This isn't good. I lost you somewhere between the Clockwork City and Vivek. But it was simple enough to trace your energy signature to this Daedric shrine. Unfortunately, some power is interfering with my efforts to open a portal for you. You see, it's this lame right here. He wants to, he wants to trap me here for a few decades. Hmm. That would be unfortunate for you. Luckily, you have me to assist you. Well, me and Sonora. Expend the small amount of Vivex energy at the statue. And that should provide enough of a distraction for me to pull you out of there. Sounds good. Be gone, meddling wizard! That actually worked. <laughs> well, glad to see you're still alive, assistant. Hurry, Outlander. The Vec is nearly spent. Seren. Cannon Levelier. Barrels are the Vec. I've returned. My time draws to a close. Were you successful? 
Can you restore my energy? I have the staff, but last time it nearly killed you, so do you want to try that again or or no? Nah? So you retrieved my stolen energy. You stopped Barbus. Now, return what is rightfully mine. I wouldn't say rightfully. I don't want to get into the whole backstory, but whatever, whatever. Um, how can we be certain that the staff won't harm you again? To quote my 75th exhortation, certainty is the brother of fear. Nothing is certain, but I have confidence in you and what you have done. Use the staff. Return my energy, or not, in a little while, it won't matter. Alright, I got you. Oh, you soon it out, and restore my energy. Praise Vivek, his energy is restored. Praise Vivek? Nigga, you better praise me. Stop playing. Remarkable. No ordinator or armager could have done any better. You uncovered a Daedric spy in our midst, brought a living god back from the brink of death, and saved all of Vardenfell. Well done, my friend. I appreciate it. I did what I could. But there you go again with that whole living God. I don't, uh, nah, I ain't gonna get into it. But I did what I could, bro. As my next sermon shall proclaim, modesty is the false cloak of a flatterer or the sincere garment of the humble. Again, you have my gratitude and that of all my people. Indeed, even those who rail against the tribunal owe you their lives. I appreciate that. And yes, they do. <laughs> you have done much for me and for Vardenfell. But as the warrior says, do not think the battle is over when the enemy is dead. The hearts and minds of the people must also be won. I must ask you for one more service. Talk to me. Gratitude is its own reward, I once told the crowds in Ebenau. But I found that some of my followers appreciate something more tangible. Help me reward those who aided in the saving of Vardenfell, so we can reassure my people. I'll do it, but um, how can I help you? To start, retrieve the Archcanon's signet from the Hall of Wisdom. It is time to appoint a new head priest. I shall gather my people and meet you at my statue on the central canton. It shall be a glorious ceremony, my friend. All right, smooth. I'll get the second and uh, meet you at the Central Cancer. So we gotta retrieve the signet and um, give it to effect. He now has his power back, so that's pretty good. And uh, let's just see what reward he gives us. Okay, it's no longer falling, but it is stuck there. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah.
All right, everyone's gathered outside. Rejoice. You cursed the darkness with good reason. Now praise the return of the light. <clears throat> the eyes and ears of the warrior poet returns. And just in time for the gathering crowd. Were you able to locate the arch cannon's signet? Yes, I have it right here, boss. Continue to guard it, for it represents not only my loyal servant Tarvis, but also the past and future of my priesthood. And take this as well, to aid you in your next task. Um, what's in this bag? You have been my eyes and ears in the world. Now be my hands. Within the modest sack resides gifts for my faithful servants. Blessings from me, though I would have you deliver them. You served me in adversity. Now join me in celebration. That sounds great. What do you want me to do? As I call forth my faithful, reach into the sack and give them the first thing you find. They shall hear my words of praise and gratitude, while it shall be your hand that rewards them. Are you ready, friend of the Vec? Yes, I'm ready. Overseer Shiralas, step forth. Overseer Shiralas, you sacrificed your blessing stones to aid the warrior poet. Well done. Take these recharged stones and finish building my city. After relaxing with your patient wife. Thank you, Lord Vivek. I shall do as you ask. Battles up. Approach. Now get over here. Get this damn reward, bro. Your knowledge of the mysteries of my brother's Sotha seal and the intricate twists and turns of portal magic were invaluable. Take this and use it well to further your experiments. Gemstones, filled with a tiny fraction of divine energy. Amazing and so very generous. With careful tuning, this could improve portal magic a hundredfold. Thank you. Canon Levul. You're welcome. Levul. Kneel before me. Ha, uh, it's Levul. Did Lord Vivek summon me? Now get over here. Arch Cannon Tarvis served us well until his death. But when I was most in need of assistance, Canon Levul rose to the occasion. Levul. Now rise once more as Arch Cannon Levul. Congratulations, congratulations. My lord, I'm not worthy, but I shall endeavor to become so. Thank you. And I can't wait to inform my ancestors. In every poem, it's why the last was it, why was his mouth not moving? Meaning. Once a stranger to our land, now a friend forever. Step forward. Oh, me? I thought you were talking to Saren. You come before me with an empty sack, but have no fear. As I have written, treat your enemies well, and your friends even better. Know that I consider you to be a very good friend. Will you accept the honor I'm about to bestow upon you? You didn't tell me what it was. Like, that's weird. But, okay, I'll accept. Then let it be known that from this moment forth, you shall be called the Champion of Vivek. And along with my thanks, take this modest reward. I foresee even greater achievements in your future. But for now, be content to be the hero of Morrowind. Now go forth it. and rejoice. Let's rejoice. <laughs> All right, guys. So we help Vivek. We're not finished yet. Next up, Clockwork City. I'll see you guys in episode four.